The many faces of face in. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are diving deep into the world of English phrases, and we'll be focusing on the phrase face in. You might be wondering, what does it mean? When can I use it? Worry not, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding. When we think about the word face, the first image that pops up is probably the front part of a person's head. Similarly, in can mean towards the inside of something. So, when combined, face in can literally mean to have one's face pointing towards something. For example, if someone is told to face in the direction of the wind, it means to turn your face so it's aligned with the wind's direction. Despite its literal meaning, face in is not often used in daily English to denote direction. However, understanding its literal meaning can sometimes help in interpreting certain contexts where it might appear. Imagine a parking scenario. When someone says, the cars are all faced in the same direction, it means all the cars are oriented or parked pointing in the same direction. There are other phrases involving the word face that can be slightly confusing. Let's clear that up. Face up. This often means that the front or top part of something is pointing upwards. For example, the cards were face up on the table. Face down, opposite of face up. It means the front or top part of something is pointing downwards. Understanding the differences among these phrases will help ensure you use face in correctly and in the right context. Phrases like face in are a great example of how English can be both literal and figurative. Always remember the context in which you hear or read such phrases, as it will guide you towards the right interpretation. We hope this video shed light on the phrase face in and how to use it. Keep practicing, and soon these phrases will become second nature to you. Happy learning!